One of the main reasons why Manchester City won the Premier League in 2021 was their incredible squad depth and quality. They had a balanced and versatile team that could cope with injuries, COVID-19 outbreaks and fixture congestion. In this section, we will look at how Man City's squad depth and quality allowed them to overcome these challenges and dominate the league. First, let's look at their defensive options. Man City had four world-class centre-backs to choose from, Ruben Diaz, John Stones, Emerick Laporte and Nathan Ake. Diaz and Stones formed a formidable partnership that conceded only 32 goals in 38 games, the best defensive record in the league. Laporte and Ake provided excellent cover and competition for them, and also played in other positions when needed. For example, Laporte played as a left-back in the Champions League final against Chelsea. Man City also had two reliable and attacking fullbacks on each flank, Kyle Walker, Joao Cancelo, Benjamin Mendy and Oleksandr Zinchenko. They could switch between a back four and a back three depending on the situation, and also contribute to the team's possession and creativity. Second, let's look at their midfield options. Man City had a plethora of talented and dynamic midfielders who could play in different roles and systems. They had Rodri as a defensive midfielder who could shield the back line and dictate the tempo of the game. They had Ilkay Gundogan as a box-to-box -box midfielder who could score goals and create chances. They had Kevin De Bruyne as an attacking midfielder who could unlock any defense with his vision and passing. They had Bernardo Silva as a versatile midfielder who could play on the right wing, in the center or as a false nine. They had Phil Foden as a prodigious midfielder who could play on the left wing, in the center or as a false nine. They had Jack Grealish as a creative midfielder who could play on the left wing, in the center or as a false nine. They also had other options like Fernandinho, Riyad Mahrez, Raheem Sterling and Ferran Torres who could add depth and quality to the midfield. Third, let's look at their forward options. Man City had one of the best strikers in the world in Erling Haaland, who joined them from Borussia Dortmund in 2022. Holland scored 36 goals in 33 games in his debut season for Man City, winning the Golden Boot Award. He was supported by Julian Alvarez, who joined them from River Plate in 2022. Alvarez scored 19 goals in 28 games for Man City, forming a lethal partnership with Holland. Man City also had Gabriel Jesus as a backup striker who could play on either wing or as a false nine. Jesus scored 10 goals in 25 games for Man City, mostly coming off the bench. With such a deep and talented squad, Man City were able to rotate their players and keep them fresh and motivated throughout the season. They were able to cope with injuries to key players like De Bruyne, Laporte and Gundogan at different stages of the season. They were able to deal with COVID-19 outbreaks that affected some of their players like Walker, Jesus and Ederson. They were able to handle fixture congestion that saw them play more than 60 games in all competitions. They were able to win the Premier League by 12 points ahead of second-placed Liverpool, scoring 102 goals and conceding only 32. They were also able to win the FA Cup, the League Cup and the Champions League, completing an unprecedented quadruple. In conclusion, Man City's squad depth and quality was one of their biggest strengths that enabled them to win the Premier League and more in 2021. They had four world-class centre-backs, two reliable full-backs on each flank, a plethora of talented midfielders who could play in different roles and systems, one of the best strikers in the world supported by another prolific scorer and a backup striker who could play on either wing or as a false nine. They were able to rotate their players and keep them fresh and motivated throughout the season. They were able to cope with injuries, COVID-19 outbreaks and fixture congestion. They were able to dominate the league and win four trophies. They were simply unstoppable. One of the key factors behind Man City's Premier League triumph was their defensive solidity and attacking flair that helped them win crucial games against their rivals and break records. In this section, we will look at how City achieved this feat and what made them stand out from the rest. City had the best defensive record in the league, conceding only 26 goals in 38 games. 
They also had the most clean sheets with 21. Their backline was led by Ruben Diaz, who won the Premier League Player of the Season award for his outstanding performances. Diaz formed a formidable partnership with John Stones, who had a resurgence under Pep Guardiola. The duo were complemented by the likes of Kyle Walker, Joao Cancelo, Emeric Laporte and Oleksandr Zinchenko, who provided pace, versatility and quality on both ends of the pitch. City also had the best offensive record in the league, scoring 99 goals in 38 games. They also had the most shots, shots on target, chances created and big chances created. Their attack was spearheaded by Kevin De Bruyne, who won the PFA Players Player of the Year award for his brilliant displays. De Bruyne was the creative hub of the team, providing 18 assists and 10 goals in all competitions. He was supported by a plethora of talented forwards, such as Raheem Sterling, Phil Foden, Riyad Mahrez, Bernardo Silva and Gabriel Jesus, who all contributed with goals and assists. City's defensive solidity and attacking flair were on full display in some of their most memorable games of the season. For example, they thrashed Liverpool 4-1 at Anfield in February, ending their 18-year winless run at the stadium and inflicting Liverpool's first home defeat in 68 league games. They also beat Chelsea 3-1 at Stamford Bridge in January, dominating the game from start to finish and showcasing their fluid movement and passing. They also beat Manchester United 2-0 at Old Trafford in March, securing their fourth consecutive Carabao Cup trophy and extending their winning streak to 21 games in all competitions. City also broke several records along the way to their title success. They became the first team to win four consecutive Carabao Cups and the first team to win three Premier League titles in four seasons under one manager. They also equaled the record for most consecutive away wins in English top-flight history with 12. They also became the first team to win both men's and women's Premier League titles in the same season. Man City's defensive solidity and attacking flair were instrumental in their Premier League glory. They proved to be too strong for their rivals and set new standards of excellence in English football.